Yo. <laughs> I have consistently been saying this. God. I feel as though I've consistently been saying this for like maybe the last five years. That Tom Cavanaugh and Matt Lesher. Fantastic. I love both of them. First off, Tom Cavanaugh plays like 30 characters on this show. And Matt really only shines when they allow him to because for the most part when we see the reverse flash he's always as tom cavanaugh and then matt's reverse flash at least on the flash show was always portrayed for the most part as young and naive and the beginning parts of his career you really didn't you really didn't see him strut his stuff and stretch until legends of tomorrow if you watch that season legends of tomorrow where he got the spear of destiny and he rewrote time i love that this season has taken the time to show just how great he actually is for flash fans because you'd be amazed that there are a lot of people who watch the flash who don't go outside of the show except for during crossovers to watch the other shows and Legends of Tomorrow was always like a little niche off to the side with like, I'm a Legends of Tomorrow fan and we are a rabidly dedicated fucking community. But the first season of Legends of Tomorrow really rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. So they didn't stick around for, I think, season two. I want to say he was the main villain of season two. If he was the main villain of season two, he was the main villain of season three. But I definitely remember him being the main villain of, I want to say, season two who didn't see that season to see just how great he is as the reverse flash. And one of the things I always wanted was I wanted him to come back to essentially be the villainous flash that we always hear about from the future that was going to have that race with Barry that was going to end up creating the season one event that led to the creation of the timeline that the flash show exists in. I love the fact that this season finale gave Matt his due because the man strut he was up there with Tom just strutting his stuff and showing Flash fans who didn't carry over to the other shows just how fucking great of an actor that he is. The writing for this season has been spotty, I'll admit, but I'm a sucker for a finale that's set up not only from the beginning of the season but also set up from the end of last season because we knew that once the forces were created and then we kind of got this introduction to the uh negative speed force that the negative forces were going to exist at some point in time as well and then when we got basically reintroduced to uh, dion dion still force again and he was saying that, you know, something weird is going on in here and I don't understand what's happening and this is all different. And like, it's like, if I'm not paying attention and I lose myself and then it takes me a minute to like reorient, I was like, dude, Nega Still Force is completely messing with you. <laughs> like when the Flash, when Reverse Flash did the whole Armageddon thing, I was like, he's definitely relying on like the negative Still Force to hide his tachyons and hide himself so that they don't see him. Now... Him tapping into this was subconscious. Like, he needed to beat Barry. He needed to rewrite the timeline. But then once the timeline was rewritten and then he lost the power and we saw the energy shoot into the sky, I was like, that's going to be the extra juice that's needed to wake up the forces or at least wake up the negative forces. And it seems that that's exactly what happened because they were just walking around <laughs> basically messing with everybody. And this isn't really a shock. Um, but as somebody who's watched the show from season one all the way until now, I can honestly say that, like, I like, um, Chester and Allegra. I forgot her name. It'll come back to me in like five minutes. Um, they're fine, but they don't hit emotionally enough for me, like Cisco and Caitlin, but that's bias or a level of bias on my part. More or less because I'm more used to Cisco and Caitlyn. Like, there's certain quips that I can see that Cisco would make. 
or certain analysis that Caitlyn would make. Whereas Allegra feels more like a miniature version of Iris, a part of the team who just happens to have powers. And then Chester feels like another version of Cisco, but then we remember, <laughs> we remember Cisco. So that part of the episode was just like, it, it's there. It's operating there. But for the most part, Tom Cavanaugh, dude, you're a fucking rock star. Every single time he pops up, it's absolutely fucking amazing. I like the fact that we explored what would happen if Reverse Flash or or um, Eobard Thawne didn't have this, like, obsession with Barry Allen. He'd be a normal guy. Like, without the obsession with speed and wanting to be like Barry, the dude is happy and he's in love and he's got somebody who cares for him. But the second that obsession took back over, and we saw him just rip his way out of the the the, the fake. Why well, would even really call him fake? Because it really feels though that version is real, and we may get him again. And I'm hoping that we do. It would suck if he died like that way. And he rips himself out, and he's all like, "I told you, my main purpose for living is to make sure your life is a living agony." I was like, "The King of Petty is back." <laughs> you can't get rid of him you can beat him you can kill him you can imprison him you can take his powers away but he will find some way in some way shape or form the king of petty eobarthon himself will find some way to come right on back to fuck with the flash and how perfect is it that oh my god because you, you 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 have to know that when he was sitting down with Stillforce plotting this plan, he was like, "Look, we gonna take his wife away." He's like, "I'm taking everything away from this man. I'm taking his mother. In some way, shape, or form, you can say that I'm also responsible for taking his father. Um, I've taken his friends, killed Cisco in one timeline, but I've never taken his wife. We're gonna take his wife. She's gonna be the one that's gonna be sacrificed so that I could be reborn." from the negative speed force and the forces were like this plan is absolutely fucking insane we're in <laughs> because when that lightning bolt flies out and you see the look on barry's face he's looking at iris like what the fuck are you doing right there and she gets hit with the lightning then he super speeds over to it and catches her first off grant gustin look look wb wb look this <laughs> We don't probably have to hire Grant to be our big screen flash, but the level of acting that I'm expecting is on this tier where the dude can go from like super serious combat mode to grieving husband like that instantaneously. You felt that shit in your chest. When you saw Iris, like when you see that lightning bolt flying towards Iris, your mouth is just like, she was the whole time that's what we're looking for that's what we need because some of these seasons have been really bad but it's great to see that it looks like the flash is going to end on a really fucking strong note and we're going into the end game so i can only assume eobard is going to betray the forces and then once he betrays the forces he is going to in some way shape or form be the big bad villain for the next season and it's just going to be barry versus eobard versus probably killer frost and i am here for it and even if you choose to pull the trigger and make it so that this is the end of eobard thawne's story where the evil version dies this season and the good version goes off with uh what is her name i can't remember her name he goes off with the with the professor and they have their, their perfect life in the future where he's just happy and he's no longer a villain and there are just less thorns out there running into the past to fuck with Barry. Even if we go that route, Killer Frost as the main villain of the final season. Please. Like, I, I do, don't, don't. Listen to me. Don't inject Caitlyn into the finale to be a hero set caitlin up set, 
because we've seen Daniel Panabaker be a villain. Like we've seen her with a little bit of that 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 that, that villainous oomph. Set Killer Frost up to be the main villain for the next season. That way we can get little hints and shades of that future timeline that the future flash was from where she's the big villain cisco comes back you probably have tom cavanaugh come back uh to be a version of harrison wells and let the villain end with basically the two friends trying to save the one friend don't pigeonhole her into the finale let the let the finale be carried by the fantastic talent of tom cavanaugh let him be the final villain for this season don't waste killer frost here please i'm begging of you i i'm begging please because this is fantastic like this like shit like this makes me absolutely love the flash <laughs> because when it was happening my mouth was open the entire time i was just like <laughs> it's so fucking good but how do you feel about the flash comment below let me know and i'll catch you in the next one